Unfortunately, we do see a lot of college students that surrender their dog. College is a new form of freedom for most, but adopting a pet comes with many responsibilities that several students are unprepared for. I know a lot of college students would like to have a pet for emotional support and a companionship, but they don't think about the lifetime commitment that's involved. Deanne Maxfield, owner and CEO of Big Dog Rescue, strives to save as many lives as she can. Our goal is to rescue dogs from the local animal shelters and keep them in loving foster homes. We don't have a facility. We go to the local animal shelters and we walk through them and we pick the animals that are due to be euthanized. Deanne says most of the dogs she sees in the shelters are those left behind from college students. So when the semesters end, they're surrendered by the loads. I mean, you're talking 50 to 100 a day to the shelters, and we just simply cannot adopt them all out. College can be a lonely time. However, Big Dog Rescue encourages students to think twice before making a lifelong commitment. Fostering may be a better alternative. We do have several FSU students that are foster parents for us, and they're remarkable. Nicole Codia, a current volunteer, encourages college students to try fostering. I was actually thinking about getting a puppy for myself, and um, I heard that we were getting uh, 30 plus dogs. So I thought, well, I'll foster some puppies. It's been great because I've been able to keep saving lives. If you're a college student looking for a furry friend, try fostering before you adopt. I'm Kanan Kerbsack reporting for Seminole Showcase.